I'm Shamin. Hi, uh, I'm MC. Yes, I'm with MC and he's going to show us about universal motors and common faults in blenders that use universal motors. Okay, to recap from the last lesson uh, with motors, we cover how induction motor works and how to deal with a fan which is most common appliance in our home. Now, uh, let's look at next common motors and that's called universal motor. A typical DC universal motor works like this. As the rotor turns, the commutator changes the polarity of the rotor coil. When the rotor coil rotates towards the stator coil, they are unlike poles attracted to each other. After it passes the stator coil, the commutator changes the rotor coil to light poles, causing rotor to be pushed away. This way, the rotor is kept in motion as long as electricity is supplied. So how do we begin to fix this kind of motor? If there is a motor problem, we will need to disassemble the device and inspect the motor for obvious damage. Let me show you. Okay, these are the parts and bit, bit and pieces of a universal motor. And typically, uh, we will have a worn out carbon brush which is uh, looks like this. This is the one that is still working well. Well, this one is already worn out. And next is the uh, magnetic coil. Um, sometimes it gets heated up and it turns black or brown, very dark brown. Similar to this, the copper coil over here. And the last thing obviously is to measure the uh, resistance of the coil and to see whether if there's any open circuit. All right, so I will show you how to do it. Okay, what we need is a multimeter to do a quick check on the resistance measurement. First of all, we turn our knob to resistance measurement. All right. You can check the resistance of the coil first. This is a stator coil. As you can see, there's a re uh, resistance measurement there is 2.5 ohms. Yes. Right? Let's show the um, coil is good. Mm -hmm. right? And on, on the uh, amateur, you can actually try measure across the uh, commutator by doing this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. 3.0 Yeah, this is 3.0 and, and, and you got to rotate it mm -hmm. across to get a consistent value of 3 ohms Yeah Okay Yeah that, That's basically how you test the uh, motor for by measuring the resistance mm, Okay So how do we fix if the motor coils are damaged? Okay If the motor coil is damaged it's not economical to fix because it involves rewinding of the copper coil. Um. So in this case, we will not carry on with the repair. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So is there anything else we need to know about um, this motor and where it's used? Okay. Generally, universal motor are used in application where appliances require high spin, high spin speed, and power. For example, like blender. Okay, let me show you. Alright, this is a blender. Typically use a universal motors. Okay. Okay, let me plug in the blender to test. Oh no, it's not working. Are you sure? Yeah, it's not working. Oh, okay. Mm. As you can see, the blender is not working. Uh, let me have a look. Okay. After I have done the usual continuity check and also motor inspection, I found nothing unusual. All right. So, looks like I got to trace the circuit uh, to see what's the problem. Can the blender fail because of the selector switch? Good that you mentioned this. Let me show you what you can do with it. The selector switch often fail because food or liquid get into the switch here and contaminate 
the mechanical part of the selector. As a result, it, it got stuck or no contact. So with the contact cleaner, you can use to actually clean it up. Mm. Uh, what else can we do? Can we replace the parts? Selector are usually harder to replace as they are usually designed for a particular motor of the machine. However, you can try cleaning the contact clean uh, with contact cleaner. It usually works. Mm, okay. So I see you've actually positioned the micro switch back into position. So maybe let's close it up and try again. Sure. Okay. Okay, make sure you engage. Yes. Okay. Oh, yay! Hey. MC, you're amazing! Thank All you right, for no. sharing your knowledge with us today. Wow! It's my pleasure. <laughs> Learning uh, a little bit of repair skill can help to fix some simple problem at home and extend the life of the appliances. That is good for the environment and it's good for, uh, for us also. Join us at RK. We will teach you how to do it. Yeah, so I am Shemaine with MC and until the next lesson, love your barang, fix your barang. Follow the info to join Repair Kopitiam community now.